Hi everybody and welcome back to the Iron Horse YouTube channel. I am Mark Broderick. And I'm Penny Schmidt. Penny's going to tell us all about the 2023 contribution limits today. Yes, very exciting stuff that's been happening. Uh, the contribution maximums that the IRS decides how much we get to put into our retirement each year, the maximum, um, have gone up for 2023. And so we're going to go over kind of the more popular ones that kind of people are more familiar with. The first one is the IRA. So the contribution maximum that you can put into an IRA for 2023 is $6,500. If you are lucky enough to be over 50, you can put in a little bit more. You can put in $7,500. Uh, and then as far as the retirement plans that you get through work, uh, 403, 401ks, 403bs, et cetera, the contribution limits on those are $22,500. That's the max you can put into it. Um, and then if you are, once again, lucky enough to be over 50, you can put in quite a bit more. You can put in actually $30,000 into your work retirement plan, um, that's the maximum. So Penny, yeah. are these contribution limits for everyone? Actually, no, that's a really good question. Um, not everyone can contribute to, for example, an IRA. Some IRAs, there's different types, and some of them do have uh, income maximums, or if you are covered at work, maybe you can't get the pre-tax IRA. So there are more details that people need to look into before they just go open one and um, start contributing to one if you don't already have one. I would suggest reaching out to a trusted advisor to find out whether you're eligible to contribute to one and, and then start the process. That's really good to know. Yeah. Yeah. So $6,500 seems like a lot. It uh, comes down to about $540 a month. That might be overwhelming to some people. Yeah, if you are not currently contributing to any retirement plan or specifically the IRA, um, it can be, it can feel like a lot to try to come up with even $22,500 a year out of your check, or like you mentioned, $6,500 for an IRA is $540-ish a month. Um, I suggest people start small. If somebody waits until they have $540 available each month, they will probably never get to that point because let's be honest, who among us, no matter what our salary or our debt is, uh, feels like we can afford just to have $540 come out of our um, out of our budget each month. I suggest starting small, even just $50 a month. Um, most places, as far as I'm aware, can uh, automatically withdraw that from your checking account um, or any account that you choose. And I would just suggest starting out $50 a month and increasing it either every month or every quarter or every time you get a raise and building up and you won't feel it. You'll get used to the less budget, then you'll increase it a little bit more. You'll get used to less in your budget again. And it's just a great way to kind of build that savings habit, number one, and not wait. Uh, time is really on your side the sooner that you start. That's really good to know, especially for somebody like me who's a little younger and uh, can definitely not afford that $540 a month. Uh, so starting with 50 sounds good to starting me. Starting with 50 is a great place to start. And when you get to age 50, then you can put more in. Don't forget that yes. part. What is red and smells like white paint? What? Red paint. Duh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks everybody. And if you like this video, uh, please th think about subscribing.